What's going on guys, Nick Hellman here, aka the Crypto Hitman, and let's do just a quick market overview. Obviously, we know the Bitcoin spot ETF has been approved. On the fake news, we ran to a little over 48,000. On the actual news, we ran to, what is it up here, 49,000. I was saying uh, uh, if the Bitcoin spot ETF, in fact, was approved, I was on the side that it potentially could get delayed for several reasons, and then the hack just kind of said, well... Maybe they'll delay it again. But if not, we'll see a straight-up green candle to 50000 and then we'll see a consolidation and sell-off in price. Well, we got a green candle to 49000 When I said green candle to 50000 everybody said I was bearish, um, and it didn't even get there. We are seeing price action near 44000 A lot of the selling is coming from the conversion of Grayscale's GBTC product into a Bitcoin ETF is allowing people to you know withdraw that Bitcoin and that Bitcoin is getting withdrawn moon to other ETF sold in OTC deals and sold on the open market and that's why we're seeing some downward pressure although the volumes are really high for the Bitcoin ETFs it's not converting to any Bitcoin sell or Bitcoin buys because well Grayscale already had billions of dollars with the Bitcoin uh, BlackRock seeded like 10 or 20 million worth of Bitcoin Vanguard seeded 70 million worth of Bitcoin so all these have Bitcoin until more Bitcoin is needed for these Bitcoin spot ETFs, you're not going to see that buy pressure. And that's why we're seeing this consolidation. I do think we have several levels to keep an eye on. And if we get below this 43.3, I think a lot of the late comers who are buying Bitcoin just for the God candle for the Bitcoin spot ETF will get shaken out, will get discouraged, and it will probably sell. That will lead us to our major support here at this cross line around 40,000. This is an uptrend line, this skinny one that we need to hold. And then this is the kind of 40,000 support that we've seen here on several wicks and the mental support for the nice even number for people. Now, positive thing is we have the 200 moving average here. And we have a 300 moving average here, which can help hold and support Bitcoin as well. We are coming into the 200 moving average if we drop another 100 or $200. Other things to keep an eye on. This is an uptrend line from all the way back here. Well, I think it's still valid because when you can see when we broke above it, we had a straight up green bar and we haven't revisited that level. That's currently somewhere around 36 to 37,000. And then the Hail Mary green buy, if it came, is somewhere around 33.3. That is at the previous support back here after the first fake Bitcoin ETF news that sent us higher into these levels. So we're keeping an eye on things. We're still not giving a trading uh, idea on Bitcoin just yet. This weakness is, it was kind of expected. We're trying to have some patience. First levels, of course, are 40,000. But really, we're looking at if we can get a 36 to 38,000, that's going to be on the back of these late chasers of the Bitcoin spot ETF. Getting scared, panic selling. This is going to trigger some stop levels. And then we get to 36 to 38,000. Our buy indicators will get over, over uh, sold on both the RSI and the technometer and then we should have a bullish diversion setup which is a nice easy setup on a nice pullback to get long for another Bitcoin trade. Now do we get to those levels? We'll see but we're watching all these critical levels as we go and waiting for some kind of buy signal. Uh, you have to have a purpose, you have to have a plan. Uh, we can't just arbitrarily go long for trading bags. Now if it's a hodl bag, you got to pull back here, you want to buy and hold because in the long term Bitcoin spot ETF is going to be supremely bullish for Bitcoin but again these are trading bags, we're trying to find good entries so we can do some short-term and mid-term trading. Another uh, bearish indicator here that we talked about in our patreon.com slash learn crypto is we did have a bearish divergence across the board here. Price is going higher. RSI high is going lower. Big volume on the sell-off. 200 moving average down here. Now, if this 200 moving average starts crossing through this 300 moving average, that's another bearish signal. And that's when we start going to these lower levels. So that's what we're kind of looking on. If you go all the way back to, there is an uptrend line that goes something like this. It was rejected. I have it on a different chart over here. That's where it is. It briefly made it through. Got people to speculate. FOMO, Bitcoin spot ETF is approved. Plus we took out this overhead resistance and right back down. And look on this. The support again is the skinny line. Somewhere around $41,000, $42,000. That is a Bitcoin. Now let's start going through some altcoins, trades we're doing, what's interesting us, what we're doing. Let's see here. Arbitrum has shown impressive strength. We did get wicked out of Arbitrum for profits here at 165, 166. This was on the massive liquidation sell-off. I don't hate it because it was a spot position, took profits, had chances to buy back cheaper, didn't pull the trigger on the weakness of Bitcoin we were looking for. 
But Arbitrum and some of these layer ones and layer twos are doing really well, following in the footsteps of Ethereum, which we'll talk about shortly. Overall, Arbitrum has been a strong asset. If we can get a proper setup, Arbitrum is one that you're going to want for this next cycle, at least in in the short term future, just based off of uh, Wyckoff wanting to buy strong assets. So profit trade got left behind a little bit, but again, I think it was a 13 or 14 percent trader off of some arbitrage we did with an asset over on Arbitrum Network. Follow. Band, band we sold here at literally near the high, two dollars and thirty-one and a half cents for thirteen point six eight percent profits. It's had a massive sell-off. We're looking at let's see what the percentages. Even at current price, it's down twenty-four percent since our trade sell. We saw that massive liquidation wick caught itself and now has meandered all the way back down. This was a, a critical uptrend line. It broke down be- be- below it. Look at it drop below the 200 moving average below the uptrend line below the 300 moving average i did make a post in discord that we had a bullish divergence down here i did say no official trade off that due to the weakness in bitcoin but that bullish divergence is up about 14 percent. so if you took a trade off the bullish divergence in our patreon.com slash learn crypto congratulations to you but this is why i am confirming that this uptrend line was vitally important you see the rally rejected at this uptrend line i do not modify these lines i drew the line based off of this right here and look how it's acting now it'll be important to hold above the 300 moving average and maybe we'll get another bullish divergence to try to buy um, the dip here after a sell usually on these we'll buy back the same number of tokens bag the profits for other opportunities real life expenses go buy dinner whatever it may be or add to your bitcoin hodl position still no action here sitting at neutral already had the bullish divergence but is sitting below the 200 moving average got rejected there in this uptrend line Again, probably will follow Bitcoin lower if Bitcoin decides to go lower. But an asset that we're watching, an asset that we like in the Oracle sector that did have a hot streak there for a while. Now it's nowhere near the likes of Chainlink. uh, But again, room for growth, has support from Horizon, getting a bigger client list, and was showing some explosive exponential curve move here uh, before the sell-off that we uh, predicted and picked up here at the highs.